Following 9-11, everybody agreed that something was missing. A noticeable hole in New York City's skyline needed to be filled with a new skyscraper, transitioning the surrounding skyline into new era. Rising from the ashes, one World Trade Center early called Freedom Tower today stands as the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere. But will its appearance become iconic as the former Twin Towers? The biggest critic, time, will decide. One World Trade Center was constructed on the most challenging site in a history. Nearly 2 million tons of debris had to be removed from the ground zero. Rescue workers were faced with constant fire underneath the debris that burned for 3 months after 9-11. Digging deeper led to risk of another disaster. Lower Manhattan was at risk of going underwater. In the late 1960s, before construction of Twin Towers, a shape known as Bathtub had to surround the site with 22 feet wide slurry walls, with its purpose to keep the water from the Hudson River out. Luckily, it was soon to be realized that the debris in fact kept the slurry walls from collapsing and led in the Hudson River inside the construction site. The last piece of steel was removed on May 30, 2002, which ended the recovery period. Original towers were primarily a lightweight steel structures, but a new One World Trade Center will use high-strength concrete. Concrete so strong that hardens very quickly and gives truck drivers only about 90 minutes to get it to destination. In November 2006, around 40 trucks poured the concrete onto the foundation of new building, creating its core. Concrete core provides structural support and protects the building from the ground level attacks like truck bombs. From the 20th floor upwards, nodes that hold multiple pieces of steel together transitions the shape of the building from four sides into eight tall isolated triangles. From the ground street level, pedestrians are starting to notice a rising skyscraper now forming its shape. Cost of building the Freedom Tower reached $3.9 billion compared to Twin Towers' cost of around $1 billion. The tower features a 124-meter steel spire, the third tallest spire in the world, the size of American football field. The spire started a battle between One World Trade Center and Sears Tower in Chicago, on who will earn a title for the tallest building in America. Sears Tower is actually 83 feet taller, but it is a Freedom Tower spire that makes it the tallest in America. One World Trade Center has 104 floors, while Sears Tower has 108 floors, both skyscrapers still don't surpass former Twin Towers, out of which each had 110 floors. When completed on May 10, 2013, One World Trade Center became the third tallest building in the world. Construction of One World Trade Center was constantly delayed due to disputes over money, security and mainly design. Daniel Lipskin's design was being born of compromise and politics. Concern was expressed that the higher floors could easily be aimed in the event of another terrorist attack. That's why early drafts were reducing amount of floors and most of building site would have consisted of an open-air steel lectile. Soon, David Childs stepped in as an architect, and the building started to look more like a building. In early stages, the design was largely criticized by the public. And then in May 2005, Donald Trump sponsored a much simpler idea of rebuilding the original towers, but stronger and taller. But just a month later, a final design for the Freedom Tower was formally unveiled and soon approved by Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. The groundbreaking could begin jeopardizing any other planned projects, including Trump's Twin Towers. When people look at tall skyscrapers, they admire their height, design, but rarely think about safety. That's why David Child's main priority was to make the new building safest in the world. Instead of steel beams, which failed to support weight above the impact zone of Twin Towers, one World Trade Center has a concrete core known as strongest ever mixed. Stairwells are much wider than necessary, along with stairwells dedicated only to firefighters. 
Stair wells also feature emergency lighting, which Twin Towers were lacking. The building has 71 elevator and it takes only 47 seconds to get from the ground floor to the observation deck. All the visitors and vehicles are now screened and monitored by cameras. Around 600 police officers are guarding the building every day. Increased safety measures can't guarantee that another terrorist attack will never happen, but new building was constructed to solve all the problems in which Twin Towers failed. World Trade Center once again became a way to frame a photograph. Due to its height and importance, criticism could not be avoided. When completed in 1970, Twin Towers were called the boxes that Empire State and Chrysler buildings had been delivered in. New Trade Center is criticized for looking very similar to Northeast Asia Trade Tower in South Korea. Perhaps what outraged the observers the most, new building doesn't feature a promised restaurant called Windows on the World from original North Tower, or an outdoor observation deck, and the tower lobby looks too dull and simple to some critics if compared with the former lobby. The tower spire was never actually properly finished. Original plan would have encased the antenna in a spiraling fiberglass redome, but it was scrapped due to cost issues. Immediately after 9-11, Ground Zero site became the most visited place in America. Today, 10,000 visitors per day gather around another striking and beautiful structure, National September 11 Memorial. Architect Michael Irad visualized two giant reflecting pools in the footprints of the Twin Towers. 2,983 names were inscribed whose lives were lost on September 11. People who died in the North Tower, South Tower, Pentagon, Flights 11, 93, 77, 175, first responders and the lives lost in the 1993 bombing of the World Trade Center. 1,106 victims remains have not been found yet. For them, Memorial is their final resting place. The only two objects recovered from the rubble after 9-11 were the survivor tree and the sphere. The tree had been planted in the 1970s near buildings 4 and 5. It was badly burned and not expected to survive, but it showed signs of new growth like a symbol of hope and rebirth. Today is located on memorial along with the sphere that received relatively little damage. The underground museum presents thousands of September 11 artifacts to the public. The quote, no day shall erase you from the memory of time reminds people of purpose of the new World Trade Center. From miles away, this building might look like an ordinary skyscraper that changed the Big Apple skyline once again, but getting closer down the street level, this place would not change for generations to come. It reminds us that the life must move on, but nearly 3,000 lost lives will never be forgotten. Thank you guys for watching this video, this channel recently surpassed 700 subscribers and I want to thank you guys so much for that. Consider subscribing if you like the video and if you're interested in the construction of Twin Towers, the video will be right up here. Thank you guys for watching and see you very soon.